Favorite childhood junk food that you now wouldn't touch with a 10-foot pole? Craft dinner. What's your definition of healthy? You know what, I'm gonna go clean. I think that no matter what you're eating, as long as it's, it's clean, not junky, no processed stuff in there, that is healthy. Right. Yeah. Right. Dundas West, so oh, it has the goods, doesn't it? No, it literally does. The Goods is a raw food takeout shop that recently opened up its doors here in this uber cool West End strip of Toronto. And now their mission is to fill bellies with hearty, delicious food that also helps people thrive, which you don't hear very often. Now they're known for their lunch club delivery service, but with this brick and mortar location, they are quickly becoming the neighborhood go-to spot for anybody looking to just fill up on good food. This place looks awesome. Thank you. So good, so fresh, so bright. Thank you, like our food, like our food. So I'm just gonna get right to it and okay. talk about the goods and how the okay. goods was birthed. Okay. And you know, it's like this crazy story that you yeah. have. I love the story. You're an ad exec, like a super high, powerful mover and shaker in the <laughs> ad world. And yeah. then, you know, and then you become a raw food chef and then you open this up. How did that all happen? <sighs> it happened really fast. Um, I was in advertising and I, I was I was unhappy. You know, I love the people, but I didn't wasn't necessarily as passionate about it as I like to be about the things in my life. As I got a little bit older, I just felt like it was starting to weigh on me that I just felt my diet wasn't clean because I had kind of, was at a point in my career where I was doing a lot of client dinners, I was traveling a lot, mm -hmm. I was very busy. And so it was one of those things, you know, like muffin in a, in a chai latte for breakfast, burrito for lunch, and then fancy client dinner. And it started to get on you. I felt like mentally I wasn't really where I wanted to be emotionally. And, you know, just physically, my body wasn't there. I was starting to feel old. So I quit my job January 2012. I wanted to travel and I wanted some kind of like experience with the food. So I went down to Indonesia in April and trained under a woman by the name of Elena Love, who runs a raw food academy. When I got back, it was very interesting because I think because I look so different um, and they had all been following me and seen the pictures that it was like they couldn't I, they couldn't get enough and now they wanted what am I doing how can I do this how can I make this work because I'm sort of into the holistic health mm -hmm. and clean eating eat, but the idea of being a raw foodist all the time I'm not advocating for everyone to be 100% raw or even 80% raw my big thing is like you do what you do and what makes you happy just include some of this food daily and that's really like even if you're having a green smoothie a liter of green smoothie every day or you're having one of a salad like this it doesn't mm -hmm. have to be the goods but food like this like mm -hmm. truly clean food you are gonna feel so much better and then when you go home and have pizza night with your family you're not gonna feel guilty I would say the Chuck Nori. Is it because of the name? I think so. He outsells <laughs> all the other salads, which is hilarious because oh, that's Chuck. what Chuck Norris would do. <laughs> the, for this salad, um, we noodle our veggies, so people automatically are drawn to noodle bowls. I love spiralizing vegetables. Mm -hmm. For fun, I think it's it's cool for people to see how easy it again it is. You can spiral all kinds of things. Zucchini is one of our favorites. Beets, carrots are awesome. Um, you can also do like jicamas, apples, that sort of thing. Perfect. This is a big zucchini. It's a big zucchini. Juicy too. Yeah. yeah I vowed fresh. never to use that word unless it was actually <laughs> accurate in a sentence. Because, it's accurate. Yeah, it's okay. accurate. And you have a bunch of different blades that comes with the device. Yeah. This is our favorite one because it's it's the most noodle thin. Yeah. I know we're blowing some minds right now. For anyone right? who has never spiralized. Like there's no cooking happening here. This is like a joke easy. And it's so much better for you. I mean, yeah, like you're actually course. getting like awesome nutrients. All the enzymes, yeah. all the minerals, oh. fibers all in there, and that's it. So awesome. And what's so cool? Yeah, it's gonna be there. like look at that. Wow. It's actually that's the <laughs> longest bit. That's the longest. It's actually key. one piece, which is really cool. Did we blow your mind? I know we did. I know we did. <laughs> So we're gonna make the toasty sesame dressing, the famous yeah. toasty sesame dressing. It. It's easy, right? So easy, four ingredients. Mm -hmm. So it's a half a cup of organic olive oil, and then we also have a half a cup of tamari, and then we have three quarters of a cup of toasted sesame oil, um, and then crushed chili. And you and you just wanna blend it until the chili is incorporated. Right. Right. Look how gorgeous that is. Oh, so beautiful. This is the thing about dressings. People should know how simple they are to make, so make yourself. You don't need to buy the stuff. And there's not Smell a bunch that. of crap in Smell it. That. Oh, right? Oh. Crazy. I can't wait to eat that. And it doesn't mm. need a ton, right? right? So this little batch would last you quite some time. There we go. All right, let's go for well, it. Well, I'm trying to Oh my God, I, like what? See? I know, it's not fair. That's why chopsticks make it way easier about really? what this for. Okay. Cheers, bon appetit. Cheers. Happy noodle face. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> This is on top of my head. Oh. 
How do you know that? If you want more of this, subscribe. Right there. Somewhere around there. <laughs>